Mastering synonyms and antonyms. Enhance your clarity and precision in writing. Hello, English learners. Today, we're diving deep into a very important topic in language learning and writing. Synonyms and antonyms. Understanding and using them correctly can greatly enhance the clarity and precision of your writing, adding depth and interest to your communication. So, let's get started. Before we delve into exercises, let's quickly recap what synonyms and antonyms are. Synonyms are words that have the same or very similar meanings. They can be used interchangeably in most contexts. For example, happy and joyful are synonyms. On the other hand, antonyms are words that have opposite meanings. They represent contrast in our language. For example, happy and sad are antonyms. Why is knowing synonyms and antonyms so important? They are not just about increasing your vocabulary. Synonyms help you avoid repetition in your writing and speech, which can make your language more engaging and fluid. They also give you more precise words to express subtle differences in meaning. Antonyms, on the other hand, are crucial for creating contrast and showing differences. They provide a simple way to make comparisons and clarify points. Now, let's practice. I'll provide a word, and you try to come up with a synonym and an antonym for that word. Pause the video after each word if you need more time. For example, the word is happy. A possible synonym could be joyful, and a possible antonym could be sad. Ready? Here we go. 1. Fast. 2. Beautiful. 3. Large. 4. Quiet. 5. Rough. Next. We'll try to use synonyms and antonyms in sentences. This practice will help you see how they can improve your writing. For instance, instead of writing, she runs fast, you could say, she sprints. Here, sprints, is a more specific synonym for, runs fast, adding more precision to your sentence. And with antonyms, you can highlight contrast. For example, Despite the large mountain in the distance, the nearby hill seemed small. Here, large and small are antonyms, providing a clear contrast. Try creating your own sentences using the words from the previous exercise. We hope that this video has shed some light on the use and importance of synonyms and antonyms in writing. With consistent practice, you will not only expand your vocabulary but also improve the clarity and precision of your writing. Remember, the key is practice, practice, and more practice. Until next time, keep learning and keep practicing. Happy writing!